This is Artifacts of Mars. Here we go again. I'm not sure what uh, category to put this in. Mental disorderism or uh, the school category. Why Johnny can't read? I think I'll put it in the mental disorder liberalism category. New Jersey school bans Halloween for diversity reasons. Uh, they're making a claim that it's a racist holiday. Seth Boyden, principal Mark. Wheels and two parent teacher association leaders said on joint message parents in past school celebrations of Halloween have made many of our students feel left out. Bummer! Like I care. And as a result, after careful, careful consultation deliberation, liar, we have decided not to hold in school Halloween activities. But our claims in 2014, about 20% of the student body either stayed home on Halloween or refused to participate in activities. Well, they don't have to participate. What's your point? I never participated in Halloween. I didn't feel left out. This is actually the second year in a row that Seth Boyan is trying to eliminate Halloween. Last year, the school tried to call off festivities, but reinstated them a day later. At the time, Quills described non-participating in the Halloween celebrations as a kind of segregation he could not tolerate. This time around, Quills said Halloween festival festivities were simply not never planned in the first place which may be intended to ensure they can't be easily put back in place. Well, it just shows that these people are nuts. That means a tradition is it was the Catholics uh, Church's answer to well, what do you call it? It was all, what the Catholic Church did basically to you know, answer the pagans because pagans people kept uh, wanting to celebrate pagan stuff and the Catholic Church was losing market share so they invented Halloween. But it's a tradition now, it's for the kids. And what uh, jackals like Mark Quills uh, don't tell you is that kids are feeling left out like crazy. You know, instead of leaving 20%, now he's going to leave out 80%. It's not a racist, it's not an undiverse ho holiday. Kids across from America celebrating it. I don't care much for it myself, but, uh, when I'm dull, I just don't bother with it. It doesn't interest me. But this is utterly ridiculous. These people are not, these people are nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. A, uh, another school in Connecticut, I'll show you the article. This one's actually been reinstated. Because uh, parents raised hell about it. If the page comes up. I'm getting... Uh, this site is really stubborn, so... Uh, public school system in Milford, Connecticut has banned Halloween-related events to avoid funding children who decline to celebrate Halloween. That's been uh, changed, so... Liberal nutcases in uh, Milford, Connecticut tried to do this too. These are, these people are nuts. Nuts, 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 nuts. And they ought to be locked up. It's so like I said, we have uh, mentally insane people who should be on, locked up in the mental hospital running our schools.
why I wouldn't, ain't saying I wouldn't, uh, if you can possibly avoid it, don't send your kids to one of these public schools. They're just horrible. With that, uh, Agenda 21, which is the UN agenda, it's not going to get any better. That's it for now. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching. Remember, liberalism is a mental disorder. These people are mentally ill.